can we keep dog as a pet or for security reasons as a pet it is totally prohibited the prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam uh, that angels do not enter a house where there's a portrait a statue or a dog and he said that whoever keeps a dog other than a dog of uh, uh, a shepherd dog or a dog for hunting or guarding then each day out of his own good deeds Allah will erase and deduct the weight of Mount Uhud of good deeds of Hasanat a relative actually who has a chihuahua in his house and so many times our relatives try to give him advice and he said oh it's cute it's lovely it's this it's that so I said to him listen do you have enough good deeds every single day that would equal Mount Uhud in Hasanat? He said, not even one-tenth of that. I said to him, then in this case, you're in debt. Because every day this is being erased and deducted from your good deeds. And this, my friend, means that you're in real deep trouble. So this is not permissible. Now, for security reasons, this is permissible providing that these reasons are legitimate. So again, keeping a chihuahua in your house is not for security reasons. It can be eaten by cat. So if you have a German Shepherd, a Doberman, something that is really vicious and there is a need for it, that you are in a really disturbed environment or a neighborhood that you fear for your life and without that they would not be deterred from breaking into your house this seems to be permissible providing that you keep the dog outside the house and not allowing it to enter the house and Allah knows best yeah so most people get the impression that uh, Muslims <coughs> somehow have something against dogs so we, we need to go back and see where this uh, comes from first we look at the Quran to see if the Quran says anything about dogs and then we go to the traditions and have people put everything together. Well, the Quran actually doesn't say anything negative about dogs. In fact, there is something positive because in the story of the uh, youth who hid in the cave in the 18th uh, chapter of the Quran, the 18th chapter, uh, we have it that uh, they had a companion, a dog. Uh, and, um, and many commentators say that this dog will also be in paradise. Now, we know that nothing impure or unclean will be in paradise, uh, but this dog will, will be there. So. Uh, some will say, okay, but well, God will make this dog pure, so it will be in paradise. Uh, but nevertheless, the, the Quran does not show anything negative about the dog and doesn't show that the dog is impure. On the other hand, there is uh, actually a mention in the Quran that uh, the food that is procured for Muslims through by means of their hunting animals uh, is permissible to, to eat. This is specifically mentioned in the fourth verse of the fifth chapter of the Quran. Uh, and uh, among the hunting animals, there were dogs uh, at the time. So it is well known that the dog would go hunt the animal, uh, or at least retrieve the, the animal that may have been killed by a spear or arrow. The dog would go retrieve it and bring it. So the dog comes with the animal in its mouth. Some think the saliva of the dog is impure, but this seems to speak against that because if obviously the saliva of the dog gets mingled with the meat which it brings to its uh, master. So from the Quranic perspective, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with dogs and dogs may be good hunting animals and the meat that they bring in their mouths are, are good for Muslims to, to eat. Obviously after washing and so on, we would treat any other meat. Um, so where does this idea come from that dogs are somehow impure? Well, it could be that uh, at the time there, there were some dogs which were rabid and uh, the best way of, of dealing with that situation to protect the population was to euthanize some, some dogs. And as the people remember the tradition, they just remember that dogs were euthanized without remembering the reason behind it. So it's not mentioned that dogs were rabid, but that would be a good reason why dogs were euthanized. Otherwise, there'd be no good reason. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything fundamentally wrong with, with dogs per se. Uh, and that's why obviously uh, exception was made for the hunting dog and the guard dog and, 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 uh, and so on. We should be very kind to all living creatures. There is a reward in everything that is living, everything that has a liver, subhanAllah. There is a narration of the Prophet wasallam wherein he speaks about someone who was kind to a dog and earned the forgiveness of Allah as a result. 
and there are certain restrictions when it comes to our relation with the dog but at the same time it was the case in order to prove to us that we should never be unkind to any animal no matter what it is 